Friday, April 2nd, 2021. Uh, I'm here with Bob Willis. He's the CEO of Sun Summit Minerals. It's, this is a company that uh, I've followed for many years, Bob and I are friends. Uh, they've made a what I think is a pretty significant discovery. Uh, they announced a couple of great uh, drill holes and a lot of good bulk tonnage holes from their phase one drilling. This is a, this was the last drill phase they did. You can see their holes highlighted here. You know, obviously the highlight is the discovery hole, hole 12, which had 40 meters of 0.89 grams and 7.5 meters of 10.19 grams and 17 meters of 5.86, including three of 23. And keep in mind, those are three separate intercepts in that one drill hole. That's not that's not one intercept in that intervals. And as well as that, they did have a number of good bulk tonnage uh, intervals, you know, 90 meters of 0.75, 81.73 near surface. That's kind of what this project was known for before. And it's it's what I think what initiated it, the company picking it up. But but I think you know that story still there is still alive. It's, that bulk tonnage story is definitely uh, important and potentially really valuable. But I think what the most interesting thing is this discovery hole and the new things they're finding here that nobody had seen before in this property. They, they really have changed the potential and the scale of this project with the work that they've done. And I'm just gonna jump to this screen and, and have Bob speak to it. This screen is not the historic drilling. This is the current drilling that is still underway. The discovery hole 12 is here. Um, can you kind of walk us through kind of what you're doing and what you're seeing here, Bob? Okay, Eric. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, the the um, yellow um, diamond shapes are obviously the the currently identified uh, VG in our current drilling. Um, our our drilling last fall um, was all within this buck structural corridor where those um, blue dotted lines are identifying it in, in the northwest southeast directions, about 350 400 meters wide so far. So, on our discovery hole 12. Um, was drilled in an area between the horseshoe zone and the trench zone where there was limited or no drilling um, in the past. Um, historical drilling um, in the trench zone in the 1980s was very shallow, 100, 150 meters. And so our view is after hole 12 is that from maybe 150 meters down and deeper, um, we're seeing some styles of mineralization, different, different types of breaches and veins and veinlets, et cetera, that, that um, that we, I, we have seen uh, VG in what five out of the 10 holes so far. So we are drilling in a different orientation from hole 12, where you can see on this map where the green um, colors of the drill holes are, we're drilling to the Southwest and, and they're not on here yet. We're actually drilling the opposite direction to the Northeast and we're drilling some, some holes, deeper holes, hole 25 further out to the West. So we're really trying to identify as best we can, the scale of this discovery hole. So we're going in opposite directions, and um, and we can see that that this VG is actually popping up in in other areas as well. And that's just not the only style of mineralization. There's also um, the bulk tonnage style that Eric was talking about, where hole 17 is over to the east. That's the horseshoe zone where um, there's much more faulting and much more intense alteration. And that's kind of where most of the bulk tonnage style is at this point. In the trench zone, there's not as much alteration, there's very few faults, and there's more dikes, which appear to be associated with, with the uh, fluids being dammed up on the sides of these dikes and creating some of these higher grade areas. And uh, just to give, I'm just gonna give people like a quick view here. This is a long section through, basically through the middle of what you saw on the previous map. Uh, note, that, note these colored areas, you know, the grays, the orange, the pinks, reds, those are sort of gray shells based on drilling, you know, mainly historic drilling, but also some of the results they've gotten in phase one. Uh, if you look at the scale bar down here, this is this is a fairly big area. You're looking at seven, 800 meters. Uh, there's obviously a fair amount of gold in this project, but more importantly, I, I think anyway, uh, it looks like they're hitting, you know, they're, they are hitting high grade areas that really weren't seen before. Uh, the historic drilling is almost all kind of subground bulk tonnage stuff. I mean, there's a few good holes, but nothing, nothing reported like what, what these guys have been drilling. Uh, and keep in mind, none of these holes have been reported yet. All, all of these green lines you're seeing here 
Those are traces from the current drill program. None of those assays are back yet, but I think you're expecting, you know, fingers crossed <laughs> to start seeing assays pretty soon, Bob. We should we should see the news flow pick up about now. Yeah, I think we're probably, I'm gonna pick maybe three weeks we should have. I'm hoping maybe three or four holes that we can we can talk about. Um, and again, just to expand on on these green lines is our current drilling. Um, we expect we'll have kind of in the range of 15 to 20 holes uh, before we take a bit of a pause here, uh, waiting for for some assays. So there'll be a lot more green lines on this map here that, that, that we'll be updating here next a couple weeks. So um, we've got enough pierce points here, I think, to really get a really reasonable idea of what we see so far. But all of the holes, we're seeing mineralization of some sort. We see sulfides. And I guess if we're lucky or whatever it is uh, in our quick blogging, these we see these uh, gold stars, if you will. And that's just I don't want to say lucky, but uh, you, you take a piece of drill core and flip it around in a real quick log, you happen to see a piece of gold hanging out. I mean, that's, you know, that's uh, to, to see it in that many different points, um, you know, to me, it indicates there's probably more, more of the same. And um, one thing to note on this map is under the trench zone are the very shallow holes that were drilled um, in the 1980s. And um, I think I mentioned that earlier on. That's uh, um, we expect that that'll be filled in with pink and orange at some point here, but that's just the historical drilling, and they were very short, and obviously did not were not drilled down in the area where we currently see our our our, our VG. Right. But the VG is important. But we're also seeing um, you know extended zones of sulfides uh, beyond where we see VG. So um, it's not yeah, it's it's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. So I just you know. This is just a short over overview. Uh, just, like I said, it's a story I followed a long time. Bob and I are friends. I've got a very, very strong technical team. Um, they've completely changed the, the view of this project. They're drilling stuff nobody's seen before. You know, obviously, you can see from the stars, there's lots of VG. The, you know, there should be lots of good news coming on the drill side. You know, it's a tight stock, uh, very well structured that way. And I, I know, you know, Bob's been adamant from day one. They're just, they're going to hit this thing hard all year. They've got all kinds of outside targets they'll have a crew working on, but you'll, you'll see the drill coming back again and again and again to this. Uh, I just think it's a great story with great news flow. It's still on discovery. It doesn't really have that larger market cap even now, even after the discovery hole I put out. Uh, you know, if you're going to be paying attention to a gold expiration stock in the next, you know, six, nine months, this is definitely one you got to be paying attention to. Sun Summit Minerals, SMN on the venture, SMREF in the US. Uh, great job, Bob. Great looking discovery. Uh, you know, I own a lot of it. So I'm obviously looking forward to Morgan Holes. I have more than a little bit of a vested interest. Everybody should be aware of that. Uh, I do eat my own cooking. Great story. Uh, thanks for uh, giving us a quick overview, Bob. And obviously, we'll talk to you again soon as soon as you start getting some actual assets. Uh, I'm sure we'll be on Zoom again. Great. Thanks, Eric. I uh, appreciate it.